My friends, I'm going to talk to you about a subject called loneliness. Yes, many, many feel lonely. They have the wife next to them. They have the kids. They have the husband. Yet they say, I feel so lonely. Well, let me tell you, what is this loneliness? It is a hollow emptiness or a feeling of isolation and disconnection. Isolation and disconnection. It is a sense of hollow in your mind that you feel that you are standing alone. There's nobody else next to you. Well, one can feel lonely in a relationship, in a crowded room, even among the friends. My dear friend, but there's a solution. Jesus went through the path of loneliness. Yes, he had disciples all around him, but... When he took up the cross, everybody ran. His mother was helpless. All the women around him, his loving sisters, were helpless. Disciples were helpless. He had to carry the cross lonely. He was lonely on the cross. My dear friend, why he went through that path? Why Jesus has to be crucified? Because he wanted you to prove that the Lord is there with you. And you are not alone. And he is with you every moment, every fraction of a second. My friend, why you feel that loneliness? Because there is some kind of insecurity in your mind. You feel that you have been dejected. You feel that uh, nobody loves you. But my dear child of God, the word of God says, God is love. When you have this love of God in you, you will not feel that loneliness in your mind. The Lord went through that path. My dear child of God, even God's servants, mighty servants, they go through the path of loneliness. They feel everybody has left them. That is the world. When you look at somebody, when you look at your friend, you will be dejected. He is not supernatural except God. You cannot trust anybody. If you put your trust upon somebody, you feel that you'll be left at one point or the other. Everybody is of flesh. Your wife, your husband, your children, all of flesh. Your parents are of flesh. But except God, God is a spirit. He came to him in the form of a flesh that you and I may go through the same path which he went and come out victoriously. Well, let me point out beautiful verses from the word of God. Deuteronomy chapter 31 and verse 6 says, Your God, the Lord himself, will be with you. He will not fail you or abandon you. The Lord who is with you, he will not fail you nor abandon you. Many people feel they are abandoned. But the Lord says, My son, my daughter, though you go away from me, I'll be with you. I will never abandon you. I will never fail you, says the word of God. Psalm 91 and verse 15 says, When they call to me, I will answer them. When they are in trouble, I will be with them. What else do you want? When you call, when you are lonely, the Lord is there next to you. The next second is there with you. You will not feel that lonely. The amazing presence of the Almighty God will encircle you. The presence of God will be with you and that will give you the strength to overcome every loneliness. He says, I'll be with you every fraction of a second. He said, right from the time you've been born in your mother's womb, I chose you. I call you by your name. I'm the one that takes care of you, my friend. Jesus is your true friend. When Jesus is there with you, why are you afraid? Go on forward. There will be challenges, sir. But you will overcome everything because the Lord is with you. He will be with you. You will not feel that you are left alone. One more verse. Isaiah 43 and verse 5 says, I will be with you always to the end of the world. What a beautiful promise. He says, the Lord who made the heaven, earth, sea, all that is within, he says, I'll be with you even unto the end of the ages. What do you want? Right from the time you are born and right from the time we leave the earth, the Lord is there with you. Cheer up and overcome this loneliness. God bless you, my friend. Amen.